when you are co-parenting with a different difficult parent um, that a lot of the underlying motivation for the be difficult behavior is to create chaos to cause stress um, to you as the other parent um, and and the focus oftentimes is the other parent and not the children so if it's if it's something that has been already resolved um, through the court and there's court orders then I mean you can just respond if you don't have to respond actually um, you don't have to respond to those text messages you can those emails you can you know create the boundaries by um, you know responding once a day when the children are with you and if the children aren't with you you know responding on on your own schedule when you have availability and time to respond and it should just all be fact-based that you know this has already been resolved you know see our see our uh agreement uh see this court order um you know we we we're not going to revisit this it's not good for the children for us to revisit this it's we we don't need this extra conflict but it all needs to be very just emotionless and fact-based that that's the best advice that I can give you because I know that most parents, especially after a, like you know a long um, litigious conflict in court, you don't want to go back to court. Um, so again, you know you you can fight the chaos by taking the power away from that parent to get get from you emotional responses and frustrated responses and just say matter of factly, you know we already we already worked this out. And this is what we're doing, you know.